Today is our first look, uh, well I've done tutorials on this before, but I'm starting a series on slit tas. I'm hoping I pronounced that right. Um, I, I just, I'm loving this distro more and more as far as uh, use on old machines or just if you want something small and fast. Um, this is not a distribution that you expect everything to be done for you like you would with Ubuntu or Linux Mint where it's just you pop it in and it does everything for you. Um, but as far as small distributions go, it works great and is use, very user friendly compared to something like um, uh, TinyCore or DSL Linux. Both are great distributions, but um, for more advanced users, I would think someone who's just very comfortable with Linux can very easily use this distribution without any problems. But go to slitaz.org, S-L-I-T-A-Z dot org, and click on the stable core uh, live CD right there and it'll ask you if you want to save it. It is only 30 megabytes, the default uh, version of the distro. Uh, once it's downloaded, burn it to a CD, put it in your computer and reboot. Uh, hit whatever key you need to boot from CD if it's not your first boot device. And here we go, you can just hit enter at this point. We're just going to go with the default setup uh, at, uh, in this tutorial. And uh, I'm running in a virtual machine right now, but I actually have a physical machine off to my side here, which is only 128 megabytes of RAM, I believe, in it. I think that's all that's in it, and I don't even know what the processor is. It's it's originally had ME in it. It's a very old machine. Well, very old, as in 10 years. I just guess it's not very old. Um, but uh, it actually boots faster than in my virtual machine. It will boot in about 6 or 7 seconds. Um, and... Uh, like I said, the virtual machine takes a little bit longer, but it's still very fast. It gets to a point, asks you what language. English is the first option. Just hit enter. Uh, and then it asks for your uh, keyboard layout. I hit the end key because the very last one is USA. Click OK, and your GUI loads, boom, pretty fast. Um, and at this point, you're up and running in a live CD mode. So everything you do in here is actually running from RAM. Uh, so let's say, by default, the default version runs from RAM, so you can actually take the CD out of your machine right now, and it'll keep running just fine. Uh, now, if you're running on an older machine that has less than, uh, I forget what the website said, I think it says if it's less than 128 megabytes of RAM, you uh, may have to get one, they have a, a what's called a low RAM version, and basically it's the same exact thing, but it runs off the CD instead of RAM, so if you have an older machine, that might be a better option. Um, but this is uh, what it looks like, very simple to use, you got your clock, little package manager right here, uh, control box, uh, which your default password is root, so we'll click on that and click root, OK and it gives you kind of a uh, little options for the system which we'll get into later on uh, you got a uh, little status bar here network configuration which a lot of this we're going to get into future tutorials but what I want to show you today is how to install it it's very simple if you want to install to your hard drive we're going to click our menu here we're going to go up to system tools and we're going to choose Slitaz installer once again, your root password is root, OK. And here it's asking if you want to do an install or an upgrade. I've never done an upgrade, but we're just going to start as a fresh system. We're going to say install. It's checking for your CD-ROM now. Uh, I said earlier that it runs out of RAM. You can take the CD-ROM out. When you're doing an install, you need the CD-ROM in because it looks for files on a CD when you're doing an install. So if you're just running as a live CD, you can take the CD out and it's running from RAM. But if you're going to do an install, you need the CD-ROM still in the drive. Here's going to ask what partition we would like to install to. And uh, if you don't know what partitions you currently have, just click uh, over to list and hit enter. And you, it gives you a list of all your partitions here. And I'm just going to use this first one. It's about uh, 15 gigabytes, uh, and it's a partition HDA1. Uh, the other partitions down here is our swap. Uh, now, uh, in my next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to manually uh, create uh, partitions. 
uh, which is important if you don't have partitions, uh, I suppose. I'm not sure if, I don't think this installer does if, if it's just a blank drive without any partitions, but usually there are already partitions. Or if you want to resize uh, to fit this next to another operating system, such as Windows or another version of Linux, or if for some reason, which I've had happen to me just once or twice, this installer has a problem, uh, I've had it had problems partitioning, which uh, may have been something I did or may just be something in the script, and I don't even know if it was this version of Sliptez or an older version. But next tutorial, I'll show you how to manually partition stuff. But here, we're just going to use the partitions that are already there on my machine. Once again, look at list to see what they are on your machine. But device, HDA1 is where I'm going to be installing it. It wants to partition it as an X, uh, or format it as an XT, EXT3, which is fine. Also, in the manual partition, I show you how to do it as ext2 which is probably better for older machines we'll click yes there here it wants to know if you want to use a separate partition for your home directory which is a good thing to do in many cases but for this tutorial I'm just going to leave that blank so it doesn't create one uh, and I'm going to leave the host name as Slitaz. okay I'm going to leave the default root password as root for these tutorials but that is something you will want to change in the future or on your install, hit OK. I'm going to create a user, we'll call him Metal, and we'll create a password called Metal, which you should never create a password that is the same as the username. OK, here it wants you to confirm everything before it erases that partition. We'll click Yes. It's preparing, it's now formatting it, which can take a minute or two depending on uh, the size of the partition and the speed of your computer and uh, a lot of different things. You can see down here our little processor bar in our system tray is, is going pretty fast right now. It's using up a lot of, a lot of process energy to, uh, to do this. There we go. It's done uh, formatting it. It's now cleaning it, clearing off anything that is on that partition. And now it's going to uncompress Slitza to that drive extracting it. Slitza once again is 30 megabytes. The default uh, version of it currently is 30 megabytes. Uh, after uncompressing, I haven't really checked, but my guess is around 100 megabytes. Usually uh, live distributions when they're compressed are compressed to a third the size of what they actually are after you install them. So anywhere from a third to f or three to four times the size, so 90 to 120 megabytes after it's installed, which is really still nothing. Um, now it wants to install Grub to our master boot record. We'll just click yes. This shouldn't take very long. And when it's done, we'll ask if we want to exit, which allows us to continue using the live CD, or we can click reboot, at which point we will be able to reboot into our system. We'll click reboot. I'll allow this to reboot. Shutting down, unmounting drives, ejecting the CD. And I'm going to boot from the primary hard drive. This is your Grub boot screen. Uh, we're just going to choose that. And we are now booting. And no fancy dancy little boot screen like you get on a lot of other distributions, but I prefer it like this. You can see what's going on. Once again, we'll Click English, USA, and here we are. At this point, we can log in. It doesn't default log in, but does put the uh, user you created as the default name. So Metal, I'll hit Enter. My password is Metal. Hit Enter, and once again, boom, the, uh, the, the desktop just loads so fast because it's so minimal on this distribution. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you watch uh, the rest of my tutorials on using the GUI interface in Slitaz uh, and I also have a series where everything I show you to do in the GUI uh, I will also be showing in text mode uh, which uh, you can run from the regular live CD or they have a base uh, version which is only 8 megabytes I want to say uh, which is very small uh, and uh, uh, luckily, Slitza, everything is very simple and minimal, minimalistic, which even saw the installer, when I go to show you that in the text mode, it, it is, it's the same installer because it was all text mode, but a lot of what you do in Slitaz, the the 
applications for it are either just basic dialogues or very, very basic GUI interfaces, which are actually just front ends for very simple scripts. Everything is minimalistic, so everything we do in the GUI is pretty much exactly the same in uh, the text mode. It just may look a little different. Anyway, thank you for watching, and have a great day.